Page 25, O Little Town of Bethlehem. 4-4 four, four time. It's got one flat in the key signature, so it's either an F major or D minor. Uh, let's look at the last measure. We have the, this chord, it's an F chord, I'd say it's an F major. Coming in on beat 4 in the right hand, third finger, 4, and they're just quarter notes, just get in the accidentals. This G sharp, B flat, lift up between the phrase, down with the thumb, and then you're not moving the hand, your hand's here, you're just moving the thumb down. And then lift up and move. There's other fingerings we can use. Let's just use this one. It's fine. And then fifth finger on that second C. Lift up and between the phrases. You're already playing the E with a two. I don't know why they gave you a two there. You're there. the thumb on the C sharp because you put your hand up in here and you have to use second finger. And then lift up, it's the end of a phrase, and move. Thumb down and then reach up for the octave. They're showing a different phrase, I disagree. I would connect all of this in one phrase. It's all one sentence, it's all one thought. The last line, I would connect that whole line. You have to look at the words and the other verses if you're going to do those. You might need to break there for the words in the other verses, but in my opinion, in this verse, you would not split the phrase there. In the left hand, keep the left hand soft and watch out on these accidentals. It's a B natural, and then an F sharp, and then a B flat. That sounds wonderful. And then a 5-2. Two, two. And I would do uh, the first measure of the second line because you're here for the last measure of the first line, I'd do a 4-2-1. Just so I don't have to keep moving around all that. I mean, I'm here, so I'll just go 4-2-1. And then a rest, and you do it again. Sort of. Third line. Second measure, third line here. Much I can do about that. You're pretty much stuck with that fingering. And then lift up and move during the rest. And then lift up during the rest and move. And that's the same as uh, what you've had before. Then try putting the hands together. You just have to work these out very carefully because of the accidentals of what's going on in the hands. If you have wide fingers and your fingers don't fit in between the keys very well, in that third line, in the second and third measure where you come here, if, if that second finger isn't fitting there too well, what you can do if you need to is play the C sharp with the right hand because there's no black key here and you got a little more room. So you can play it here rather than the left. So it's here. if you want to, if that'll help you. I'll leave that up to you. I would like to go through this slowly with you and double check the notes and the rhythms. Rhythms shouldn't be a problem, but the notes with all these accidentals, and if you need to do it one hand at a time with me for a while, that's fine too. What's important is that you get the right notes here. So I'm going to give us three counts because we come in on beat four. So go ahead and put your hands here to start. One, ready, go.
Three off.